Hey everyone, a fit bartender here and happy Memorial Day. It's a fantastic day, especially here in upstate New York. I'm so excited because the sun is shining and I'm gonna be outside today. I took the top off my Jeep, we're gonna go for a drive and we're really gonna try and spend a day outside enjoying the weather and making the most of this day. It's the first day of summer and it is a day where everyone is gathering and enjoying themselves and really trying to just enjoy themselves. And that is what I would like for you to do as well. So many of us are trying to live this healthy lifestyle and maybe lose some weight or see some muscle definition. And all of those things are absolutely important for your health, but it's a lifestyle. That means it's something that you do forever, not just for 21 days or for 30 or for three months. It's something that you do forever. And there are holidays, there are special events, there are things that you want to do and things that may tempt you while you're trying to live this healthy lifestyle and it's okay to enjoy those things too. So I wanted to bring you some of my favorite tips when it comes to cocktails and drinks on a special occasion because there are absolutely ways that you can lighten up those drinks and those cocktails and still enjoy the taste, still enjoy yourself and still be able to have an alcoholic beverage because let's face it, it's Memorial Day. You wanna be out there, you wanna be enjoying and you wanna have a drink. So I say, go have one. So here are some of my tips. The first one is you wanna watch your sweeteners. I've talked about this so many times, but honestly, some of the worst culprits when it comes to calories and cocktails is sweeteners, like those mixers that they put into some drinks. So I say, first of all, make your own. Be in charge of what's going into your drink. You can do things that don't include refined, processed white sugar. You can use things like agave nectar, or you can use pure maple syrup. Oh, it packs a great sweet punch, and it's totally clean, and you don't have to use very much. Or maybe some honey, that would be great in a cocktail as well. So watch out for those artificial sweeteners, those things that you find in mixers. For me, I love a good margarita, right? No surprise, this girl, margarita all the way. And so I like to make my own, and when I go to parties, I make a giant pitcher and bring it. So with a margarita, I squeeze my own limes, lemons, and grapefruits, which is my secret ingredient, and I make my own sweetener using agave nectar, and it's great, and it's super, super easy to make it so that it's not going to totally kill your calorie load. So think about that. Try and watch those sweeteners. My next tip is use ice. Not too much of a difficult thing to do. It's hot out, you're gonna wanna use ice. So what I mean by that is, when it comes to your cocktails, load them up with ice. It's gonna keep them cold longer and it's going to dilute it and make the cocktail or that drink last a little longer. So even if you're just drinking a vodka soda, or maybe you're drinking, I don't know, a, a Jack and Diet, you want to have tons of ice in there so it lasts you a little bit longer. And as it starts to melt, add more ice. So you still have that drink in hand, you're still out there partying, but your drink is lasting a little bit longer. You're not going through it because it's hot. You might drink a drink a little bit faster than usual and you're going to wanna to have another and another. And before you know it, you drink all of your calories for that day. So more ice will help you make it last a little bit longer and keep it cold, which is great. All right, for my beer drinkers, and I am absolutely a beer drinker too, light beer, duh, go light as far as, uh, instead of regular beer. Light beer will be less calories, typically less carbs, which is great too, and they still taste great. There's a lot of great light beers out there that have full flavor, so go for that. Sometimes they're a little cheaper too, um, and then what I like to do, and it's something that I learned on a trip when I was in Mexico, is I make something called a chelada, which is basically a light beer that you pour into a glass of ice that has fresh squeezed lime juice, a pinch of salt, and it keeps the beer cold because let's face it, a koozie is not going to keep your beer cold all day when you're in the sun or on a boat or totally enjoying yourself on Memorial Day. You need some ice. And it's okay to put a light beer on ice, especially if you're gonna make it in this way. And that lime juice keeps it fresh and a little bit of salt. It's like this mix of light beer and margarita all in one, which is just a girl's dream come true. So I think that it's fantastic if you add in your beer to a glass of ice, 
fresh squeezed lime juice, a little bit of salt, and it makes that one light beer turn into maybe two or three drinks, which, hey, is fantastic. So make that, it's one of my favorites, go for it. My last tip for you is to absolutely stay away from the appetizer area while you're having a drink. Pick one. If you wanna have a snack, go have a snack. If you wanna have a drink, have a drink. But don't stand around and do both. Hey, Muffin. <laughs> um, so I think that you really want to be able to choose your vice. If you want to you know, indulge in the appetizers, do it. There's so many great dips and snacks and all kinds of great things happening on Memorial Day weekend, so enjoy them. But if you wanna have a great cocktail, go that route. But do them one at a time. Enjoy your drink, pour yourself a nice drink, walk away from the appetizer table and enjoy it. Have a great time with your friends. So pick your poison. Are you gonna drink your calories? Or are you gonna eat your calories and do them at separate times? All right, so most importantly, and my biggest tip of all is to let it go. Enjoy yourself today. It is a time to spend with friends, with family, with whomever you're with today, enjoy it. It's okay to have a cheat meal, a cheat drink, to just go ahead and have some fun today. This is what it's all about. And tomorrow, you're back at the gym, you're back eating clean, you're back to drinking your water instead of your beer, and that's cool, it's okay. That's what makes this an absolute lifestyle. So, number one tip, enjoy yourself today. I know I will be, and stay tuned for more tips from a fit bartender right here as we go live. Thank you so much for enjoying today and have a fantastic Memorial Day. Thanks, guys.